All right. So Dan uh, did a, gave us a little treat here. He dismantled a little bit of the wall so we can see down inside. You know, we talked about it earlier that the core has these braces in there, but these braces have these little scallops and hooks in them, right, Dan? So tell us what those are all about. Yep. Yeah. So uh, we have on the outside, we have uh, room for a number five bar. So we typically use those. Um, in the middle, you've got a number four bar that can run uh, all the way. And then number three, uh, two, two holes for number three there. And for our non-construction viewers, when we're talking bar, we're talking reinforcing bar, right? right? So Correct. these just basically fall right in. And you can see down here, they already have some of them placed. And you can also see we have the vertical leg that comes out of the footing. So the concrete will go down there, grab that, and that keeps that horizontal displacement of the wall sturdy. And then these horizontal bars basically will get tied to some vertical bars in here also. So we basically have this steel cage that's happening inside here. Now that takes care of the structural requirements that the structural engineer gave us, but there's certain things that have to happen and that you do that allows you to put this together, keep it fastened so the, the blocks don't blow away, doesn't come apart, right? So talk a little bit about that for us, Dan. Sure. So we can see here when we connect our blocks, we have these uh, vertical clips and they basically allow us to hold uh, each block together, um, which helps us stabilize the wall uh, during our pours. So and what that does is that just keeps this block from lifting up Correct. on those blocks. Correct. So the vertical snugness of the wall, if you will, is taken care of by every time you put a block in, you snap in one of these. Now these Correct. are made by the ICF manufacturer, exactly. right? So Correct. they ship those out and you get the whole package here. So you're not going and finding a place to get those bent or made. Now, what do you, is there anything that we do when the blocks come together horizontally? Yes, there's a clip right here, as you can see, we're just the same thing, it clips in nicely. And typically what we do is one vertical per block and then horizontally clip to the next block, which is clipped vertically as well. So, so those are pretty much on four foot center. Exactly. You don't basically. overkill it too much, but it helps stabilize. And we do a lot more for the first two courses, which for us is very important because that's when we place the concrete, we go three courses at a time, but the most pressure is in those two, first two, two blocks there. Um, gotcha. Now I noticed that we have the, the metal ties, but I see a zip tie over here. Talk mm -hmm. to me, like, why did we switch? So this right here is the common seam, which we uh, discussed earlier. Uh, it's connected by the plywood. Corners, we work from our corners to the to one area. Uh, we choose to do it closer to the corner so we can put one brace here and another staggered. And then basically what we do is, this is too big for the vertical clip. So we still use uh, 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 zip ties here to tie them together just to give that extra reinforcement. Okay. Um, Stable pretty neat system and i mean it's you know it's pretty rigid you get some concrete in there this is going nowhere so exactly. while we step over there you got some really cool stations and some pretty cool tools let's uh go look at some of the tools of the trade that's happening here 